Hey guys, it's Teen with a Top Hat here, and what is up, everybody? I'm sorry I've not uploaded anything in a while. Uh, I know I said I was working on something special. You knew I said I was working on something special, and I knew I was working on something special. Wait, I already said that. <laughs> Sorry, but for real though, uh, this video is going to be about me telling you guys how you can make the Roblox launcher have the old Roblox logo. And it's actually pretty easy to do, I'm not even kidding. So, to show proof that I did get this from the official Roblox files, this was the old Roblox launcher. Now obviously, if you install it on this launcher, it will just give you the new logo. But, uh, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually get the old logo on there. I just got the old logo files from that. So, anyway, so first off, you're gonna wanna download these three files here. I put them up on Mediafire for you to download, and yeah. So first off, download this thing. Oh, guys, sorry. Just download that, and download that, and then download this. You're gonna want to show it in Finder and just put it copy this like on your desktop or in general just put it on your desktop show in finder put it on your desktop this is just so you can access it easier and put this onto your desktop now then let's just get out of that website like I said links will be in the description to these downloads now that you have these things what you're going to want to do is go into your finder go to your applications or wherever you keep Roblox at and right here go to get info now what you're gonna wanna do after that is go to your Roblox copy dot icons or whatever it is uh, change its name to Roblox dot icons you're also gonna wanna duplicate this as well because you're gonna need it again later on alright so gonna want to open it that in preview click on this thing edit select all click here and then copy the reason why you can't just straight up copy it all is because if you do then it will end up like this thing right here and it won't be the R you want so now then now that you've copied that go on to your get info thing click on this cheese it right here click on edit and then click on paste now it will have the old logo, but we're not done yet. We still need to do a few more things because all this does is just make it so that this thing has the old logo. Uh, anyway, so you're gonna want to first off get rid of this thing, get it off of your dock or whatever, then move the one with the old Roblox logo back onto your dock. There you go. Now go into Show Package Contents, Contents Resources, right here. Take. Uh, rename this thing to whatever like this I guess put in the roblox.icons thing and delete that now we'll think you've got the real roblox logo on here now then still not done yet by the way this part will change every time it updates the one on the dock will always stay the same but every time roblox updates uh, you're gonna have to replace these with R's as long as you're fine with doing that, then you should be just fine. And go to Mac OS, and you can change this with the old R, but there's no point, seeing as how you'll never actually see it. Go to Contents, go to Resources, scroll down. Right here is where you want that other icons copy. Rename to Roblox.icons. There we go. Re and once again, rename this to whatever you want it to be. Put the Roblox.icons in here delete this All right now you can get rid of this roblox info by the way uh... got the logo meatball things i'm not really sure to be honest uh... okay guys so my bad i'm not really sure if i forgot to put it onto my desktop or not but i do have the file on here now uh... you, you don't need two of these uh, times two copies you can get rid of one of those sorry about that anyway so get rid of the uh, sorry just rename this to whatever you want I don't, I don't care 
Okay, go on to the times two, uh, rename this, get rid of that copy part of it, and now that it has the times two name, put it in here, get rid of this one, now then go on to here, this one actually has the original name, rename this thing to whatever you want, put the logo meatball thing on here, get rid of this thing, and there we go. Now, that should be everything. So to test this out, let's open up a Roblox game. So if you have like the extension for the old Roblox logo and you had this, and you had like the old logo on the Roblox launcher, hold on, I'm going to uh, get out of those chat messages. I don't want you guys uh, watching whatever I have. And I actually traded off my Violet Starry site. Rip. Anyways. So, let's just play a random game. Home. Home. What games have I been playing? Let's see. Oh, okay. I, I can't even tell anymore. But, anyways, just play uh, Roblox Odyssey. I don't care. It can be literally anything. Play. Open Roblox. This is not the... Yeah, there you go. You guys see that? That was the old Roblox logo. Let's see. Does this thing have it? Yes, it does. That is the old Roblox logo, like, all the way. So, yeah. All right. It there will make it work. I'm currently trying to work on a way to find out how to get the old loading menu, but it has proven to be a bit more difficult than I thought it would be. But if I am successful... And I will let you know uh, about how the progress has been going, basically. Gone a little bit through there, but yeah. Anyways, so that is how you get the old Roblox logo on the Roblox launcher. Like, not the engine, not just an extension, the actual uh, freaking launcher. So, the old Roblox logo extension plus old Roblox logo on the launcher equals like super old Roblox, you know what I mean? You get all that stuff, and I, I can get the old loading screen back too. Oh, absolutely perfect. Anyways, I uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.